I, Corlys Velaryon. I, Lord Hobart Hightower, promise, promise to, to be faithful, faithful to King, to King Viserys. Viserys. I swear this by the old gods and the new. Westeros is basically a feudal society. It's ruled by many noble houses, some of them going back hundreds or even thousands of years. Two of the biggest players are the Valerians and the Hightowers. The Hightowers are from a very ancient, wealthy, powerful household who have been front and center of politics for hundreds of years. The Hightower sigil has a torch on it and their motto is, we light the way. That comes across within the characters of the High Towers. Their seat of power is the southern coast, Old Town, which was for many thousands of years the biggest city in Westeros. The Faith was headquartered there for many years. That was where the High Septon, our equivalent of Pope, had his seat. Within the series, you have old gods and new gods, and the Seven is new religiosity, and the High Towers have a strong connection with the High Septon. When we first open the series, Otto Hightower is Hand of the King, and I think there's a Hightower fire there. There's a saying, when the king eats, the hand shits. He steers the small council on the king's behalf when it's necessary, and ensures the king's wishes are enforced. Otto's an advisor, but Viserys is quite suspicious of him. Otto sees the danger in everything, and even though his intentions are good, he's also persuaded himself that there is nothing but good intention behind his action. The gods have yet to make a man who lacks the patience for absolute power, Your Grace. The Valerians are of Valerian blood from the freehold of Valeria, the mightiest empire in the West. Destruction was coming to Valeria the doom, as it would later be called. And they actually arrived in Westeros before the Targaryens. High Tide is a standalone castle belonging to Lord Corlys. He's master of ships. He is the greatest sailor of the land. He is the one who's done these famous nine voyages. The Valarians control the greatest and strongest fleet. The sea snake is a collector and a trophy hunter and very proud of his voyages, so he festoons his haul in all of the one objects from his nine voyages across the Narrow Sea and beyond. The sea snake is the richest man in Westeros aside from the throne, but it's not quite good enough <laughs> for him. He wants his blood on the throne. He was there when Viserys was chosen as king. He felt it should have been his wife, and he's never really forgotten that. The queen who never was. To have your husband as your champion constantly saying, it should have been you, it should have been you, it should have been her, is fantastic. There's a classic example of a healthy, strong marriage. The Valerians were not pleased by this, but when the realm is against you 20 to 1, you'd be pretty foolish to go to arms to try to press that. Jaehaerys did not want bloodshed. He wanted a smooth transition to his successor. History does not remember blood. Remembers names. 